in a book uh, written by Elaine Mayland, you say, the body is an outside manifestation of an internal state of being. What do you mean by that? For, very easy. When we put the arms out, you know, and, and divide, that is our expression of being happy. You know? And when we are down this way and hanging down, that is also an expression of maybe being depressed or being discouraged, being sad. And that we can see in the body. And there are other things too, you know, if people feel that they have power or people feel they have given up. And the way, the way they hold their body, you can see it. And we very often do the body reading, you know, that we see how the body is, and then put the body into the position how they can be when they are not depressed and when they are not down, and then they can experience their real body, how it is meant to be. And it is a, quite an experience for people to get in touch with how they really meant, are meant to be and not how they are in a depressed way. Sometimes it helps people to even get out of a depression when they realize that by them hanging down and, you know, looking discouraged, that they feel discouraged. And if they don't feel this way, if they are up there, then they feel happier, they feel differently. And some people like to feel happier. As a matter of fact, quite a few people like it better to feel happy. Only a few people are attached to feeling unhappy. And that is, there's nothing we can do about it and nothing we want about it. We don't want them to be different against their will. We want them to be how they want to be, how they would live best. All right? Yeah. Sometimes you talk about the lid, which holds yeah. down feelings. That is what we have on top of the shoulders in the area where we do the talking and some of the breathing, but especially the talking. And the top of the chest, in the chest where we hold the feelings. And when it's very tight up on the top of the breast, uh, of the, uh, what is it, breast coil, what is this of English? Uh, huh? Correct. The, the, the what is it? No, not not just the practice, just the whole the whole thing, the whole area, yeah. the thorax, chest, right. the thorax, yeah, of the thorax. Mm -hmm. Then um, uh, we don't allow ourselves to feel. We f keep the feelings in us, but don't allow allow them to come through the throat to be talked about or to to be showed with crying or anything. Then we feel that these are muscles that hold the lid down, like with a, in a pot, with a steamer, you know, don't allow it to come up. And there you can help them by loosening up these muscles, that they can all of a sudden start feeling or talking about experiences or feelings. And of course they have the possibility to hold it down again if they wish to, but often they like to be aware of what they are doing and like to be in touch with their feelings. But there are some people who are very talkative and are still are tensed. Yeah. yeah. Some people talk, but not about what's really important to them. They try to avoid feeling by talking. And they talk about everything except what's really important to them. And that you can see in the body. So after a while I will say, you're talking a lot and it's fine, but your body doesn't respond at all to what you say. So let's see if there's something that your body might respond to. And then they think about it and then sometimes they say something 
and you can no body doesn't respond no doesn't respond and then all of a sudden there's a quiet and then they take a breath and I said now you're in touch with something that's important for you maybe you can say something about that or feel about that and that is usually then how they can how they can be aware of what's really important to them which they didn't even realize before and that's also important in their treatment you know that the people realize what is important to them and they didn't even realize before you are said uh, 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 the body tells uh, the clearest what we want to hide the most that's right I like this because when we are tense somewhere of course that shows up the most the muscle is tight the muscle is sick when we see a body and have these tight muscles we know there's something behind these muscles that is tight so our clients are very surprised that we always find the right spot immediately that we could put our hands in they say how did you find it and of course we find it because they show it the most they are the tensest there the muscle is the thickest there and there's a less least movement there so it's very easy to see and that is of course a thing they don't want to show but through the tension they show it the most so it makes it easy for us to work at these places Can you see that in the face too? Yes, but in the face they can make a face very bland, you know. So you don't see anything in the face. You know, you can have a plastic smile. People. Very often, you know, they look in the mirror in the morning and they see the face. They say, I can't go out this way, so I have to make a nice face, you know. And be nice. And you can feel how they hold that face. And you cannot really see what they feel because you see their facade being so nice and lovely. And then when they relax, then all of a sudden the face comes out. And very often the faces become very beautiful when they don't have tension in it. And when they get beautiful, then I know they're coming to their truth. They're coming to to look and feel the way they really are without having to bit pretend something else. And then very often they also get in touch with their real feelings. But it is really amazing how beautiful people become when they do not hold down and do not pretend they are somebody they are not. Thank you, Maren. Is that all? No more questions. Oh, how wonderful.